See, bro, you keep making the same mistakes, bro. You talking about you want to sit here and lose weight. You want to get shredded for the summer and this and that and the third. Dog, the summer just arrived, bro. When are you going to finally start and conquer yourself? Master yourself. Get that dream body that you always wanted. But see, you keep making these same mistakes, bro. And here, I'm going to expose three of the same mistakes you keep making that's holding you back from getting that dream body, bro. First things first is taking accountability. You got to take accountability of the actions that you make. See, if you keep sitting here blaming everybody else for the mistakes that you keep making, bro, you're going to still be stuck in square one. You're still going to be a fat tub of lard, bro, built like a damn circle sitting here hating life. You're going to get to the point that you're going to accept being built like a circle, bro, and that's why I just can't accept that, bro. There's a reason why I'm making this video. Because the thing is, you have to take responsibility of your own actions. What is your living conditions? How are you living? What type of foods are you putting in your body? Both foods and fluids. What is your lifestyle in general that's making you being overweight or obese? No matter how many times you want to blame genetics or outside factors, the big picture is you. You can make this change. And the first thing is first is finally sitting here taking your, like being accountable, being accountable. Start to be more self-aware of what you do and what you put in your body. That right there will make a huge difference alone. Being self-aware, understanding of, damn, I keep putting garbage in my body. Oh, I keep eating too much. I'm not getting enough physical activity. I'm still stuck in the house, chilling. Netflixing and chilling, TikToking and scrolling, but you're not over here putting in no work. So you're still dreaming, but you're sitting here not putting no action, taking accountability. So that's what I'm saying. You got to take accountability for yourself. It's your problem. It's the reason why you're overweight. You're the reason. Nobody else. You're the reason why you got man boobs. Why you got to sit here with the love handles. Men and women are like the reason why you're built like a circle. It's because you ain't taking no accountability. But once you finally take accountability, that's where things gonna start to go on the up. Take accountability, that's one of the things. The next thing is having unrealistic goals. This is the thing that makes everybody quit. You wanna sit here and lose the weight fast as possible. You wanna sit here and go from circle to just chiseled in like two days. Stop. You sit here, and once you do start, you have these unrealistic diets. Oh, I want to go on a 30-day water fast, or I want to say or become vegan, or all this other nonsense just to lose weight and have that certain image about yourself. You ain't got to do none of that nonsense. It's a process. It's a marathon, not a race. You're not going to go from big to small in just a week. This takes a long time, months years years i'm on year six and i'm still grinding it took me six years to build my physique going from 300 pounds to who i am now it's a process so don't rush it once you get the plan to achieve your goal all you gotta do is take those little steps each and every day to achieve your ultimate goal but if that goal is actually realistic you just want to lose a few pounds you want to say just be fit be able to do a certain sport, have those mini goals to achieve your ultimate goal. But see, your goal is finally realistic and see you achieving small goals that's gonna actually have you more motivated to achieve the bigger goal. The bigger goal is not impossible to reach, but because everybody has these unrealistic goals, you're gonna start to try to do unrealistic things. And it's gonna have you discouraged that you're not making no progress. So no wonder why you're sitting here stuck on square one. No wonder why you quitting. No wonder why you're not consistent. And that's the next thing. Consistency. See, consistency is the biggest thing that will end you or break you when it comes down to achieving your goals. You have the plan. You have air, all the things ready for you to be able to win in your journey. But by the time you start, 
you get discouraged and you're not making any results, things of that nature, you quit. You quit. That is crazy. But just imagine if you stuck to the plan. You stuck with it. You stuck with the plan, bro. Day in, day out. For months on end. To all of a sudden you achieved it in a year. To two years. To three years. And you look in that damn mirror and you realize, damn, I did that. And I stuck with it. That's when you start to see changes within yourself. You stuck with it. It's a process. So you stuck with the process. You believed in yourself. You know you're going to win. Next thing you know, you won. You absolutely won because you stuck with it. Consistency is key, bro. Consistency is everything. That's the only way you can win, bro. If you ain't consistent, you ain't going to see no changes. You can sit here and do all these workout plans, meal plans, all that other nonsense. But you go right back to old habits, you, you're still not going to change. You ain't going to sit here and achieve that body you truly desire. Men, women, whoever the hell that watches this video, bruh. Once you start to take accountability, you set that realistic goal for yourself, and you stick with the process, you will win. But the most important thing is believe in yourself, bro. Believing in yourself. And know that you're going to win, bro. Because a lot of people don't believe in themselves. They don't think they're going to do it. They don't think they can change. They think this shit is impossible. But, bro coming from me bruh i ain't think i'll be able to be the person that i am today but i took that risk and thing and when things get challenging i stuck with it bruh i believe in myself i know i was gonna win i'm gonna win matter of fact i am winning but the same thing could happen to you though see these are common like the thing is it's crazy that these are common sense you know what i'm saying but it's like i gotta come back with a fresh reminder for all y'all Everybody want to look for the answers, all these different answers from TikTok, all this other misinformation, but we already got the answer, right? We already know the answers. We just ain't taking action. We're, we we ain't believing in none of this nonsense, bro. We just want the easy way. We just want to skip all the work and already get the results right now. But just imagine, let's say you skip everything, right? You got the results right now. How are you going to even appreciate that? Cause you're not you don't even know what it's like to even reach to the top build that physique you ain't gonna appreciate the ups because you never been down to begin with you just skipped all the work to get where you at so you're not even gonna appreciate it but see i appreciate myself thank myself each and every day that i actually took that step to start my journey and never stopped bro like i said six years and still going six fucking years and still going People will stop in a year. People want to go to the summer, you know what I'm saying? Get in, get in shape for the summer. And the summer goes, and next thing you know, you know what I'm saying? You got dad bod or mom bod or whatever the hell. Why the hell will you stop? Make it your life, your lifestyle. That's what's going to keep you going. It's so You feel so good about yourself. You will appreciate yourself. That's why like, I got such a hatred for BBLs, surgery, like all that nonsense, bro. PEDs, you, like, you don't need none of that. All you need is a strong mindset and consistency and believing in yourself and you know you got it. You stick to the plan, trust and believe, you will win. You will win, bro. You have to stick to the process and be consistent. Otherwise, you ain't seeing shit, bro. Don't cheat yourself. For real. You got this shit. Let me catch your ass trying to cheat yourself. Stop.